What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be an unboxing. Just got in from China today. This is uh, from X-Duo Customer Support. Uh, welcome to the studio, by the way. Got some things set up. So, here on the table, I have my original X-Duo. Um, X Duo, X Duo 5. Uh, this is actually, I think, the box from the Tin T2 pre order from Mass Drop. Uh, I was about ready to ship it off until I found out it was going to cost like 160 something dollars to ship it off, and the thing you can get new for like 180. So I was like, uh, please help. And they were gracious enough to um, send me a new PCB board for me to fix myself. And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, so it finally came in, and we're going to do an unboxing video. and. Um, uh, see if we can rebuild this thing and how hard it is. This originally failed because um, uh, the USB port um, uh, stopped, uh, well, was recognizing, but stopped um, sending audio out. So I can only uh, get audio out of it if I did a auxiliary input in. Um, nothing else was coming out of the um, headphone out uh, using USB, even though it was detected uh, and all drivers were up. But let me get the uh, camera um, rig set up to um, go hands-free and we can start unboxing this, why not? All right, we're back, we're ready. Let's get to opening this. Nice of the day. It's the Kershaw Skyline. This is the um, House of Blades um, limited edition with the yellow scales and the uh, matte. Not DLC, but DLC-like coating. I think it's just a matte coating. I have not opened this, so we're gonna have a really interesting surprise for us. See what's inside. Packaged well, come all the way from China. Thank you, X-Duo. And, and there she is. Okay, so yeah, exactly what a PCB is. This is the inside of the X2. If you ever wanted to see, we got all the little LEDs here for the back. Um, there's the USB, which we're hoping is gonna be fixed now. There's all the buttons in the front. And there is the volume and our new LED display and our new headphone jack. Cool. All right, very easy. Awesome, let's set that aside. Put that over there, Put that right there. And well, I wrapped this myself. I thought it was going to China, so it says air sealed as I could have, or at least water sealed. It's got close there. Don't worry, I'm a professional. Boy, how did I do this? That would have been helpful. Ta-da! All right. Hey, they didn't even uh, deflate. That's cool. take off the uh, little protector. Ooh, now it's red. Cool. Um, I really did not have this thing long. And uh, and then this guy failed and I was only able to do the uh, aux in. Um, I never tried digital one. I honestly just was like, yep, not gonna do it, just <laughs> aux in. I'd like to have it uh, um, a digital input so I can actually use this as a DAC. Uh, but yep, does it still turn on? Oh my god, it still turns on. Uh-oh. Nope. Almost full battery. Look at that. Cool. Alright, so let's start to disassemble this. We have some little hex heads. Let me go get my tools and, uh, yeah, let's uh, get this traded out. Awesome. 